Today, I'm gonna show you how to do this cool impact effect. It's super easy. Let's get right into the video. Make sure to watch the end because I show you another way on how to make this even more impactful so you don't wanna miss that. So bring whatever clip you want to do this on into your timeline. And what I'm gonna do is come over here to this little icon. I'm gonna click it and go to adjustment layer and press OK and then drag it above your clips. And for people who don't know what an adjustment layer is, it is basically an invisible clip and whatever effect you apply to this invisible clip or this adjustment layer, anything that's below the adjustment layer will be affected. So if I put something on this clip, it will affect immediately the one on the bottom or anything that's below it. Okay, so our adjustment layer is over our clip. And what we will do next is identify the point in the clip where the hit actually happens because that's where we want this effect to occur. So we're gonna go, we're gonna find when the glove hits the guy's head, which is right around here. And this is where the effect is going to start. So now you can trim your adjustment layer over to here. And I'm gonna count 16 frames from this point. And I'm just using the keys on my keyboard to move frame by frame. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 16. Or if you press shift while also clicking the arrow, you will move five frames at a time. So our adjustment layer is 16 frames. I'm gonna click on it, go to effects controls, and then go to my effects window. And then I'm gonna go to search and search for the transform effect and just drag it onto your adjustment layer. And now you'll see in the effects controls panel up here, we have the transform effect selected. And now you can move the clip around just by adjusting the, the position. So to do the actual effect, make sure this is at the very start of your adjustment layer. You can see here, my playhead is at the very start. And I'm just gonna keyframe scale at 100. And you just do that by clicking the stopwatch and you'll see the keyframe is now there. Next, I'm gonna move two frames up. So just hit the arrow key twice. You'll be two frames forward and put the scale to 120 or actually 115 to give it that impact. And you'll see we are now scaled. Then I'm gonna move three frames forward, one, two, three, and then keyframe it back to 100. Or you can also just hit this reset parameter button. It'll bring you back to the original um, 100 scale, which is the default. So now that I have this, I'm just gonna select all my keyframes, right click, and you could do either Bezier or just put ease in. I like ease in, and it will just make the effect a bit smoother. So that is the main effect so far. We have this impact happening. You can see the scale adjustment. But now, like I said, we can add motion blur as well. So to do that, you'll go back to effects controls, go to where it says use composition shutter angle and make sure that is unchecked and bring your shutter angle all the way to 360 and your shutter angle is what gives you that motion blur. And now you'll see we have motion blur with the zoom in. And now we have this super nice effect. You can duplicate it by hitting option, clicking and dragging the layer. Option if you're on Mac or Alt if you're on PC. Now you have this any single time you want it. You just click and drag, duplicate it over any part of your clip you want this to happen. But before we get into the next part of the video, I just wanna remind you guys that we are posting one new tutorial every single week from now on. So if you wanna learn new techniques and ideas, make sure to subscribe, comment, so you don't miss a thing. Back to the video. So let's make this a little more complex, more of a shake, more powerful than this at least. So I'm just gonna move these out of the way. I'm gonna put them over here and I'm just gonna go drag the adjustment layer that we made earlier on top of my clips again. And another way I can reduce the size of the adjustment layer without having to trim it is by pressing Command or Control R. It brings you this menu and you want it to be 16 frames. So just click the duration and make it 16, press OK, and it is automatically 16 frames. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go over here to Effects. I'm gonna go to Transform, drag it on my adjustment layer again. And now I'm going to do something similar with the scale. I'm gonna go over here, click the scale keyframe again. Now you can see it's at the beginning of my clip. I'm gonna click on the keyframe, move it two frames up, one, two. And I'm just gonna press this keyframe button again. You see we have one at the start now. And we're gonna keep that at 100, 100 scale. And I'm gonna change this to let's say 110 or 120. I'm gonna highlight my back keyframe, right click on it and do ease in. I'm gonna highlight my front keyframe and I'm going to select this one and do ease out. And now that just smooths it out even more. And now we're gonna do the same thing again. I'm just going to click here, create the 120 keyframe again. And I'm gonna move two frames ahead and I'm gonna change the scale back down to 100. 
And now I'm going to select both of these keyframes and just move it over here so they're a bit further away. But now we're going to do the same thing for the position. So we're going to keyframe our position at the start. I'm going to move two frames forward and I'm going to start just moving this other axis around. Maybe I move it a little bit to the right. Maybe I move it down a little bit and then I'm just going to select the back one. I'm going to do ease out on the back keyframe and then this one is ease in again just makes it more fluid and then I'm going to move two more frames forward I'm going to adjust it just a little bit subtle movements here going to move it up a tiny bit I'm going to go another two frames forward after that maybe push it a different way move the position a different way from what it was and I'm just going to do this every two frames or so and just adjust the position in a new way over and over again until the end of the clip. It doesn't have to be much unless you want like a really, really big thing happening. So two more and let's just do this a little bit up, a little bit this way. And then at the very end, we're just going to reset it using this back button. So it goes back to the normal position. Now you have your last keyframe. So now let's watch what we just did. Pretty cool, right? A bit more complex, still pretty easy to do, but gives your video a lot more impact. And again, we can do the same thing, uncheck use shutter composition, and then change the shutter angle all the way to 360, and you will have great motion blur. Then you can just move this, you can put this anywhere you want, just duplicate it, and you can drag it anywhere. If you made it this far to the video, make sure you subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, let us know what you wanna see next. Don't forget to check out Mirror Camp and join our online school for more.